Perspective Drawing 2. We're given the plan, the elevation and the end view of this model of a house. We're asked to draw the perspective view in this position here. Also given is the spectator, the centre visual ray and at 90 degrees to it the picture plane. Vanishing point 1 and vanishing point 2. Brought down and the ground line and the horizon line drawn. In this case the picture plane does not go through the corner of the building. There is a space between the two. So to get the height of the building we have to continue the lines on to the picture plane and draw them down. Set the compass to the height of the building up to the gutter and from this point mark the height. Join back to vanishing point 2. This point here will pass through the picture plane Brought on down, that gives us the end of the house. This corner passed through the picture plane, brought down, gets the front corner of the house. We join those two points back to vanishing point one. The back corner there passes through the picture plane and brought on down and that is the far corner of the house there. To get the ridge we extend the ridge on to hit the picture plane, bring it down to the ground line, set the compass to the height of the building and from the ground line mark it on that line. Vanish that point back to vanishing point the far corner of the ridge brought down to get a point on the picture plane. Bring it on down to the perspective view. That gets the far end of the ridge. Now the near end of the ridge you do the same thing. Bring it down and that gets the nearest point on the ridge. And that's the skeleton of the building complete. Now this is the model of the house and I want to drill a hole through the house. We'll see it in the elevation here, and that's the hole there, marked in. We'll bring this point and this point down to the front of the house. Join those two points to the spectator. That gets the point on the picture plane and the second point we pick up that point there bring those two points down to the front of the house set the compass to the height of that line this is the front of the building here so on this line here, measure up on this line, join to vanishing point 2 and that gets us that line. So if we bring down this point, that gets us a point on that line, bring down the other point and that gets us the second point on the line. Now we're going to get the two points at the gutter here. Bring those two points across to the front of the building, join to the spectator, where they cross the picture plane, bring them down to where the eave is, and that's the two points there. The bottom point of the circle, bring it across to the front of the building, down to the spectator, where it crosses the picture plane, draw it down to the perspective view. 
Now I want to choose two more points on the circle here. So where the point on the eave comes down through the bottom of the circle, we'll choose that point. Bring it down, down to the spectator and get the height at the front of the building. Set the compass to the height of that point. On this corner here, we measure up the height, join back to vanishing point two, uh, where that cuts through that line, that gets one point and that gets the second point. Now, that's the circle being drawn in there. That's the circle on the front of the building, complete. Now to get the piece that's gone into the roof, this top point here brought across to the end view and we'll take a point midway there. There's one point on the roof and the second point on the roof. We have to find those points on the roof down below. The centre line is down already so the two side ones have to be brought down here now. Set the compass to the distance into the first point and mark it in in the plan on the two lines. Now the distance to the top point and on the centre line mark it there. The circle cuts the eave at a point, bring it down to the front. Again, the second point down to the front of the house. So the kerf on the roof now is like that there. Bring the points down to the picture plane so that we can take the heights of them. Bring them down to the ground line. Now the height of each of these points, set the compass to the height in the end view. Mark it up on the first line. Now the, the height of the second point, mark it on the second line. Join back to vanishing point two. The top point here, bring it down to the spectator where it cuts through the picture plane, bring it down to cut the top line here, that line. And then these other two points, bring them down. And this is brought down to the second line. That's another point. Now the last point, now the next point brought down to the picture plane and brought on down to the perspective view will give us a point on the second line and that's the points on the curve, line in the curve and that's the drawing completed. And that's perspective drawing to complete.